Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mengs, uh, and I'm joined here by none other than Ephraim225. And we're going to be playing some Days of Ruin. Oh my god. Hi, Ephraim. Hi, I'm Chinese Kanbei. <laughs> First thing he said when he when I called, it was like, "Hello, China's come back." <laughs> so, I mean, people were saying that. I don't know. <laughs> I can see the I can see the resemblance. Uh, if you haven't seen China's come back, guys, oh my god. Uh, so yeah, oh, uh, Ephraim had this amazing idea the other day. He was like, "Hey, we should play some Days of Ruin, but let's play on the worst possible map because Days of Ruin." I'm telling you guys, if you haven't seen the maps that Days of Ruin came with. The vanilla maps. The mine. vanilla map. Were they drinking when they made these things? Like, <laughs> like honestly, some of these maps are the wonkiest I've ever seen. I'm gonna show you a couple uh, before we decide on a horrible one. It, it's the true player maps that are like the greatest sin. Let's let's start with this one, Ephraim. Like, what is this? Oh. <laughs> I had not intended to play that one, but you're very right. One base? One base? What? This isn't even a map. This is someone who just opened up the map edit editor and spent 20 seconds creating something. Like, you wanted to fit it into the limitations for sending it online. <laughs> you remember that, people? <laughs> I, do, I do not, but uh, I can see why you would want to... Okay. You had to... In order to send your map into the online map system, you had to limit the map to, like, 10 by 10. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. But th that's not even, like, there's some horrible ones here. Like, this one, for example? This one's fantastic. Look at... Look at... What? Like, look, oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this freedom point. Like, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever moves into the center first loses. It's just gonna be a stalemate. It's horrible. You know, I'm not sure if the random Wi-Fi mode can, like, select this map, but it would probably be pretty awful if it could. I have never. I I know there's a small online community with Days of Ruin, but I, I I've never. I I know that. Some oh yeah, people, they don't do the random. They don't do the random Wi-Fi mode. No. And I think what they were going for in this particular map, they think they were going for like a chessboard aesthetics. These are like the pawns. Yeah, something like that. But I don't remember boats in chess. Do you? This was actually the first map I ever played a PvP match on with my friend. He 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 he, he, he brought Days of Ruin one one day. We were sitting out on my balcony grilling, and he was like, I got this new Advanced Wars game, you want to play it? And he's like, I'm like, oh, whoa, new Advanced Wars game? Whoa, you know? And he's like, yeah, they called Days of Ruin. And then we booted up, and this was the map he selected. And I was just like, I don't like I this. I'm so I, sorry. I don't like this game. Can we go back to playing Advanced Wars 2 now? <laughs> so, he's the map editor. <laughs> well, I mean, I would... I guess I just this was like really early on in my advanced Wars days and I, one more I want to show one more just just to show you guys what they were smoking oh I think oh, this not, is the same this one is the same one well it's not not that one um uh there was one so I, I've got a list of maps we could try like oh. I picked out the worst ones oh this one yeah this one, <laughs> this one right here. oh what's this <laughs> oh <laughs> Why are, I I why are the comb towers even here? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're playing on Parsec, so Ephraim, why don't you... Um, uh, I'll let you pick the map, since you're the guest. You got a particular map you wanna want us to play oh. on? <laughs> well, I got a couple, but I, I don't know. Come on. Like, if we come across something that's so horrible and so awful, then you'll probably just say, no, I'm not playing that. Well, the premise of the video is that we're going to play on the worst map ever, so, like, hit me with your best I know, shot. but I do wanna... you really want to... I Do you really want me to select, for example, this thing? Cog Isle. Let's, let's have a look at it, at least. Okay, then. All right, just go, uh, into, go into the match, and let's just see how what it looks like. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Are you... Sh no. You're not serious. <laughs> This is no. No cities. This is not a map. No, it's. This isn't a map. Like what? What? No way. How can you have an advanced tourist map if there's no cities to capture? Um. This is horrible. I don't know. This is horrible. <laughs> okay, you got. Is that you got anything worse? Um. <laughs> well. I've got my list up. Oh, you, you, you made a list. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. 
There's oh <laughs> this one. You got to do this one. Right. Do this one. It's just called please do it. Please oh, do it. All right. All right. It's just called Stripe Map. Like what? Oh my god. It's just. <laughs> it's just missiles and bridges. What? And okay. one base. <laughs> Or two of them, but one that we have to capture. Yeah. Oh my god. And um, you can get to the silos, I think, before the bases. This is awful. But I feel like, do you got, do you got any bad naval maps? Because I feel like, you know, one of the things about Days of Rune that I really like is that. Well, you, you, yeah, that's you, kind of redundant. Navy map is automatically bad. I, yeah, but like I was thinking, when we're, we're gonna play Days of Ruin, I guess we could try and pick a map where I don't know, like, uh, uh maybe not, maybe not. Hit me with um, another. Hit me with another one. Okay, here's one that's actually been in Advanced Wars for a little while, but I don't know. Eon Springs. Eon Springs. It, it, it doesn't have ports. Okay, so, well, no, let's not pick it. It looks, it looks boring, actually, <laughs> looking at it. Okay. I, don't, I don't like it. Let's, um, let's pick a smaller map. This one's probably got navy in it. Oh, no. Forest Island? I don't think, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Why are there so uh, many? Oh, my God. Yeah, there's, like, 70 of them. And I think they just wanted to, like, flood it with as many maps as possible so that Look, the random Wi-Fi would be... It looks like a clown. It has, like, a hat and a nose and everything. It had a lot Kinda. of... It had a... That's why it's called... <gasps> That's why it's called Clone, I clone Island. Oh, my God. I just realized this. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Up and under <laughs> snowflake. <laughs> Did they hire a bunch of monkeys to do this? Oh my god! I think I think you're. Oh wait, Tribe <laughs> Islands. I think that one's uh That that's a classic. I've seen this one before. Oh okay. I think this yeah, one is from the, the war room. Blue has more cities. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these are just not balanced. They're made so that you can like challenge your terrible friend, you know, who's not as good as you. Let's pick. Uh, let's find one of the smaller ones, shall we? I, let's do. Oh my god! Look at this one. Eight bridge oh, islands. That was I did not list that one, but I completely forgot about oh, it. I a, completely forgot. This a, is awful. It pre-deployed. I mean, look, the airplanes start in range of each other. So player one just... Yeah. <laughs> player one wins. <laughs> player one just wins. Yeah, you, on turn one, player one can just attack with every one of their units. So that's, that's horrible. Uh, oh my god, mm -hmm. Th this is just... What... Oh my... This one is called High Plains, and that's a god dang lie. It's just a... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I, I'm running out of things to say from, like, I don't... Like, one map is just more horrible than the other. Well, we should, like, play. Yes. Um, oh, it's actually called Chessboard. Interesting. Okay, so they were going yeah. for it. Uh, you want to do, like, um, I don't know, base and forest. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Blue starts with more cities. We can't do that one. Uh, I say we do. Let, let's do dual river. Let me just have that a look looks at it. tiny. Yeah, that yeah, probably works. All right, tiny map. Let's go. This this is sufficiently terrible, I think. All right. So yeah, the question is then, what CEOs are we gonna pick? Who, who's oh, your gosh, main? Gosh, I haven't actually like picked a CEO in this game in a long time. Which uh, side am I playing? Uh, you can go first. You're the guest. It's okay. Um, okay, then. So which which CEO so used to be your favorite? And don't say colder. Uh, well, my favorite CEO is Penny. Oh, okay. We're going to have to play with the random weather, then. Oh. Well, I don't... Uh, I don't like randomly hitting people with penalties so, that often, so... Uh, oh, we can... You I'll can just play be basic with... and... Oh, oh, you're going you're gonna to play Mr. Basic Man. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll just be basic and play Will for the first one. Alright, can I play my waifu? I know she's really broken. Uh, Tabitha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, so... <laughs> okay, that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> this, this is not fair. She's really good. Alright, but... It's okay. On right. this map, she probably is. So, fog, no point, since we're both spectating. Uh, conditions clear, terrain normal, days... Uh, we can set a. Do you want to set a day limit? Ten days. Uh, probably. Yeah, that's probably for the best in case we stalemate or something. Which is probably going to happen on these maps. 
All right, and level up's on. I do like the level up feature of Days of Burn, I will say. Yes, that's a very good idea. All right, and uh, yeah, AI doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Okay, Mr. Will, make your move. Mr. Will. <laughs> at least I can... At least, at least I can get a bike on turn one. Oh my god, bikes. Yeah, right. I gotta get into the, the Days of Ruin mindset right now. Oh, we start with 5,000. Okay, interesting. All right, I guess... Uh, you start with 5,000. Well, why do I start with 5,000? One extra city. Oh my god, wait. Oh, this isn't balanced at all. I feel horrible. I think this is just how they figure they should handle the first turn advantage with one extra city. Like, oh, they didn't know okay. to put... They didn't know to spot blue an extra city, so I think that's part of it. Ah, okay, I see. So, a recon? Yeah. Okay. Gotta counter your bike. I, I think recons are good against bikes, if I remember correctly. Hold on, what do I got for money? Okay, that's good. I mean, you got one base. It's not all. Oh, okay, you're already loading the CO unit in. Interesting. And, uh. Let's go for mech. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I only ever play this game while I'm up at the cabin, so like that's uh, my, my but I think I yeah loading in doesn't take it I didn't know until recently though that loading in a CO unit actually costs half the price of the unit I wasn't aware of that. Uh -huh. So I was like where'd my money go? Oh, no, I'm not in range. Okay. I hope, I hope Of this... course I, I picked that city oh, right. for a reason. <laughs> wow, he's playing smart. What the hell? Uh, let me get a bike as well All right, here we go so yeah, the, uh, the strategic depth of this map is truly mind-blowing. Uh, there's so many decisions. Yes, it's oh shit, you took is. my city. Yes, I took it on turn one. <laughs> and there's... I don't think there's any physical way to stop that. Uh, maybe not. Uh, oh, see, maybe, that, money, maybe that's um, why I start with an extra city, because I can't prevent you from doing this. Well, then, that, that means there's a problem with the level design besides that. Oh, here we go. Tabitha's... Boom. Claim to fame. Yeah, yeah, I feel very dirty for picking her, honestly, especially on, on this map where the CO unit. Uh, let's see. No, we don't want to build a flare. Those are bad. I'm just gonna build bikes, I guess. Alright. I don't know how much damage that mech is gonna do to me, but I think Tob is a CO unit. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh bad. boy. Yeah, I think. What, what does it get? Like, doesn't it get like 80% attack and defense or something crazy like that when she loads a unit well, in? Let's it? see, it's the max level. There's plus 10 for just being in the CO zone. And then there's plus 50 because it's Tabitha. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's 80. It's, it's pretty broken. But I mean, that's not a bad engagement right there. Maybe we should like explain right. the viewers what our CO's actually do in case they've never played this room before. I suppose you that's wanna, fair. You want to do like a basic rundown of Will? I'll do Tabitha. Yeah, okay. So, Will is basically the direct combat specialist. Anything in his CO zone that is a direct attack ground unit will get plus 20. And uh, his CO power boosts the mobility of all of his ground units that attack directly by two. And that includes infantry, unlike with Max from the main series. Yeah. So, uh, pretty good CO. He's like a combination but... of Max and, Max and Sami, in a way. Kinda. Something like that, yeah. Mm. As for Mangs, his <laughs> waifu... Yeah, she, she, she is likes... ...is the of all beginner players. <laughs> she loves to step on people, quite literally. She, she, she loads herself up in her CO unit, and then she drives over you in high heels. And it really hurts. Mm -hmm. She uh, she only has, like... Her CO zone only affects one unit, but it gives a massive 50% attack and defense. Plus, keep in mind, when a unit levels all the way up, I think it's 20% extra firepower and defense, right? Yeah. And then it's the 10% baseline from the CO zone itself. So that creates a 70% attack and defense unit. But you only get one. So if you lose it, you're screwed. Uh, she has a power, but I've never seen it. I don't even know what it does. It's Meteor Strike. <laughs> yeah, it's know. actually just Meteor Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually have seen it. It's just a joke I tell because you will never get mm -hmm. Tabitha's power ever. Like, I, I've never... I played a lot of matches as Tabitha. I've never, ever gotten to use her power. Well, not even once. Doubly so, considering the problem with CO zones. Yeah, it's zero, so you can only charge your CO. And also, isn't there like a bug or something where Tabitha doesn't generate... Um, she doesn't generate mm -hmm. power from counterattacks or something. I read that in one of my Yeah, comments. she won't get power if she counterattacks, because if the attacker is coming from outside the CO zone, then it, you're just not going to fill the power meter with the counterattack damage. Yeah. <laughs> and our quote is, stupid weak people. 
Uh, all right, mm -hmm. go back to back to our scheduled uh, program right here. <laughs> all right, so uh, looks like my uh, my recon. Oh no! I, th I think I ought to have gotten a tank. Probably, yeah. Okay, so should I? I'm just gonna capture here. I I need to capture. I'm gonna capture here too. <laughs> and oh. uh, I think yeah, my I need to go back and heal. So can I get a tank now? Ooh, I can get an artillery. But should I? That's the big question. And I guess on this map, artillery. Oh wow, no. Wait, bikes can. No, they cannot go over rivers. Okay, good. Um, I don't know. I feel the like. Odds are I'm gonna finish capping. I almost never build infantry in Days of Ruin, do you? Uh, yeah. That's weird, though, because, you know, I'm mainly a single player kind of guy, and you're not supposed to spam infantry in the single player missions anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how, like, can, if someone who is, like, acquainted with Days of Ruin PvP could explain this to me in the comment section, that'd be really nice. Like, what, what is the meta in Days of Ruin? Me and Ponsagraf have tried to figure this out, but we, we haven't, like, there's not a lot of, like, pro Days of Ruin PvP content out there. Do people spam infantry, or do they spam bikes? Cause I'm uh, I don't think they, I don't think they spam infantry because the cost would be too much. Yeah, because like the meta in Advanced Wars 2 is just like infantry whenever you can afford them, right? Like, seventy five percent of your army is made up of infantry. But bikes, probably see, bikes seem like they cost a lot more than than they cost two thousand five. So I don't know, I don't know how that would work. Anyway, oh god, you actually built a tank, shit. Um, now I really regret. Yeah, I not, have the money for it now. Now I really regret not loading my CO unit into a tank. That would actually be really good. Um, okay, can I? Well, you've got eight HP, so. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I can try and kill your CO unit though. That'd, that'd be funny. Um, so here's a question I need to ask: Does defense work like it did in Advanced Wars 2? So. No, it does not. It does not. Do you get? Yeah, defense actually gives diminishing returns now. Whereas oh. in Advanced Wars 2, 80% defense means you only take 20% of the damage. Now that's not as good. You actually need, I think, 100 defense in order to just reduce the damage by half. Ah, okay. So, but it, it seems like you still get less terrain defense whenever you're low on health, though. So I was, yeah. I was able to take out your CO unit there. Yeah, terrain is still going to... How did you get so many units? I guess I guess I'm the one who was just walking right into combat. I'm Tabata. This is they they're my servants. I'm roleplaying. Oh oh. Okay. I, I think my I think my recon is Oh and now we're going to no. roleplay your demise. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my CO. Okay. That sucks. But on the other hand, this will allow me to get my CO unit into a tank, which is Oh yeah, now he's gonna <laughs> CO his tank. Oh here we go. Boom, baby. Woohoo! You are in a city though, which kinda sucks. So. 66. I think I'm gonna take out your mech instead, and then I'm gonna go for the city right here. There we go, and uh, I think I'll just stay here. And I'll build myself another bike, here we go. Yeah, I haven't exactly been playing the smartest, I'm trying to use mechs. You're also up go against, figure. like, Tabita, who's a way more, like, OP commander than you are. <laughs> this is, oh yeah. This is hardly this, fair. This trade-off was dead even, though. So. Oh wow, look at that, yeah, you attacked me, and both of us took 4 HP of damage, that's pretty funny. Mhm. Mm My god. What a great map. <laughs> yeah, what a great map. I'm glad you set that 10 turn limit, but I guess. Okay, wait. Can I maybe defeat you with luck damage now? Let's try to find out. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Um, how much money? 5,000. Okay, I'll just build another bike, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, maybe I can. Oh, no. Nope. No. I'm still alive. Do you? And where there's life, there's hope. <laughs> oh boy, he's even role playing Will now. Or do you say Will or Ed, <laughs> by the way? What's your? What, what are you used to? Tabitha or or, Cla or Clarissa? Uh, I'm from the West, so I just know all of the U.S. names. No, but, what, but which one do you prefer? The U.S. names, probably. Which are like Will or Ed? I I, I keep mixing Will. them up. You say <laughs> Will? Okay, all right, okay. Me too. I'm. So that means I probably play the American version then. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, um, even the European fan base kind of like went with the U.S. localization names just so they wouldn't get confused. It's I can imagine it's very confusing, but I think most people say Will and 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 Tabitha. I, that's what I'm used mm -hmm. to anyway. But I, I hear there's like um there's like an advanced force by web community out there for Days of Foreign, but the site is in Japanese. I've never tried it. Yeah, I heard something about that too. 
You know, people so keep linking possible. it to me, and then I just click on it. I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to wait until Advanced Wars by Web finalizes their version of... Because uh, they're working on it. It's probably going to be done in like 10 years or so. Oh, they are. That's that's very nice. Working on it. Like, it's... It working work, on they're it. They're working on working it, which means it's it. really going slowly. All right, there we go. I got that. Perfect. Let's yeah, he just through. ran me over with Tabitha. That's going to be the theme here, I 100 think. One hundred percent skill, ladies and gentlemen. One hundred percent skill. Let's uh, let's build a. Let's build, who build an who was it that like? <laughs> oh, uh, hello, anti tank. That's <laughs> like the pipe runner of Days of <laughs> Well, not really. The anti tank is a good unit, but in this format, it is a bit of a meme. Oh, you actually got to shoot mm -hmm. on my unit. That's kind of cool. But I couldn't build anything, so that was probably a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I can't I lived on one health. <laughs> oh shit! You might actually kill my seal unit now. All right, there we go. Anta tank. Uh, I think time's up, actually. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, no, yeah, we're at ten days. Let's build a rig. There we go. Oh, a rig. Yeah, I won. It's over there. Whoa! You get an S rank. I wasn't even worth the trouble. I agree, Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these maps are so bad. Let's do another one. Yes. All right. Um, you, you got any? You got any wishes? Well, there is one very meme-worthy map. I think. Okay. All Go right. to map thirty-two. Map thirty-two. Okay. Like, if you want to save this for the end, that's fine. But take a look. Wait. What? I need. To, I need. To, I need to look at this. I need. I need to take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh. But Red Player has so, all the cities, though. What? Big money versus lots of pre-deploids. Ah, okay. Well, I would do this one, but it looks like it's going to take us five hours. So, uh, maybe... That's maybe... also possible, but at least you got to see it. <laughs> at least we got to see it. it. I do... I will admit, it's an interesting concept. I can't imagine it's very balanced, though. It isn't. No. Look at all these forests. I don't know. Who, who do you say has the advantage on this map? I think blue, just because they probably have, like, several days' worth of income already on the map. Like, with all those bombers, that's, like, yeah, over 100,000 or something. a lot of bombers. Oh, my God. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. there's eight of them, so that's 160,000 already, and the income red starts with a 30,000. <laughs> all right, well. So just counting the money, you, you can see who's in the lead. Um, let's pick like a like a little bit of a bigger than what we play it on. But let's find like a, a slightly bigger map at least. How about number forty-five? Number forty-five. Barren plains. <laughs> Is this for real? <laughs> it's real. It's real. Oh my word! That's worse than I thought. It's nothing but bucks and infantry. Uh, what were they thinking? We can't even see all our units. Oh my god. Well, I, I think you can zoom out, can't you? Yeah, you can. Oh my. This is so bad, though. What the? Okay, well, uh, do you want? did you actually want to play that one? Uh, not anymore. No, okay. <laughs> you just wanted to see. This map is actually in Advanced Wars 2, and I hate it. Um, oh, really? Hourglass Isle. Hourglass Isle. Sucks. It's like, wow, I really love funneling my entire army through one choke point. Um, mm. How about this one? Asphalt. This one looks properly shitty. Asphalt Maze. Yeah, it probably is. Four bases and <laughs> Four bases not a lot. Alright, you wanna you wanna go with this one? Oh no, actually no, let's try and find a port map. Um port map. This was oh god, no. Wait. Let me, let me have a look at this one. Hey. Well, you know, it is interesting to note that this is shaped like one of the letters in the word Nintendo. Oh, really? That's interesting. That's a cool bit of mm -hmm. trivia right there. Yeah, if you... Like, in Advance Wars 2, there's that Easter egg where if you hold down L and R while going into the map editor, it loads the map with a bunch of letters that spell out Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a really cute Easter egg. I like that a lot. That's cool. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it has airports. That's a little bit cooler. Okay. Uh, this is the, this is the one that we saw with like the first turn oh, advantage for red. Right. Okay. Screw that then. All right. Why don't they have Do you like want to, like challenge yourself to try and beat this even though 
you probably can't. Um, okay, so let's play this. Actually, no, let's not. You sh the first player who does okay. first win, it's, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> My god, it's... And no, I'm not playing the chessboard. I, I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, I want, I want to find a bad map, but I also want to find a map that's, like, like not too much of a meme, I guess. Okay, now, this is also a big meme. Jesus Christ. All right, let's try it, at least find one with air. Should we just try this one? I want to do that one. You want to do this one? I legit want to see that one. All right, right let's try it then. Okay. Um, I guess you can... Since, um, since you went first last time, I guess I can go first now. Uh, but I will not pick... Okay. I will not pick my waifu. I will pick... Um, you know what? I like his theme song. So no wait, this is not an air map, is it? So no, that, it let's let's go with Mr. Mr. O'Neill or Brenner or whatever the hell his name is. You can, you can pick O'Brien. O'Brien, right? You can pick yours. See, I know this because I've been playing both at the same time. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's interesting though how they've actually changed. Yeah. By the way, guys, see from has a YouTube channel. In case you don't know, go check it out in the description. Yeah, I'm playing Days of Ruin and Dark Conflict at the same time. Wow, that's multitasking. Okay, you're gonna pick the you're gonna pick Mr. Bear. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's do ten days again. Terrain normal. Ten days is probably not enough. Fifteen then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Income thousand AI normal. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go. All right. All right. So CO quick CO information here. This is like the defensive CO right here. Um, he's a very big. With a little zone. bit of Andy. Yeah, he, yeah, he's like a, yeah, he's a combination of Andy, or he's like an alteration of Andy, I guess. He's like Andy if he wasn't stupid. Uh, he has a CO zone of 3, and it gives 20% defense. But I also think it gives... Doesn't all CO zones give, like, 10% attack and defense baseline? And then you get this effect, so it's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be 30% defense, wouldn't it? 30% mm -hmm. defense, 10% attack. So, uh, and his CO power just... It's like a little bit better of a hyper repair. I wouldn't normally pop this unless I had a lot of damaged units. I think the, the, the bigger CO zone is probably better, but... And yeah, I wanted to explain Mr. Bear here. Uh, Penny, do you, uh, like Mr. Bear? Because he hates you, and he hates how weak this CO is. <laughs> <laughs> is she that bad? So, well, honestly, Penny's only claim to fame is that she ignores all weather effects. Oh. So, like, like, when's the last time you ever thought about weather when it's not Olaf, right? Mm. Well, um, I think this actually extends to all units outside of the CO zone, too, but the CO zone will give you the plus 10 attack and defense. Ah. And her CO power just changes the weather. It's really not that good because, like, I only, I've only gotten to the snow part of the playthrough, so I only really know what snow does, and that's minus one move for everything. Mm. So it's like, yeah, it's, I, I don't even know what the weather effects are in this game. So when it rains, I do believe it turns fog of war on and reduces vision of all enemies to one. So it's actually pretty good. And the sandstorm, I believe, reduces mm. firepower by thirty percent for your opponent. But not her, obviously. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it's like, but, but still, unless 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 you're in a weather game or random weather is on, what are you doing if you pick this CO? No, we I'm so sorry, Penny. You're the best character in the game, but can 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 bikes fire missiles? Yeah. Okay. So I yeah I guess no. It's probably better to go for the base and then I'll send this guy. I don't even know how to I don't even know how to play this. <laughs> I will say though. Uh, Penny has a really kick-ass CO theme. Yes, if you listen closely, you can hear this little techno voice that says, "What did you do?" To what did her? you do? What did you do? What did you do? Yeah, it's a, she's a pretty messed up character, honestly. Days of Ruin has some mm -hmm. very dark uh, side, side side plots, like. Yeah, Blue is so far away from the base at the start, but it's really close to the silo. Can so. can uh, bikes launch missile sauce? I think they can, right? Just told you yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm guessing. I, okay, there we go. I guess I'm getting senile. I don't know. <laughs> asking, <laughs> asking the same question twice. So I don't think I'm gonna fire quite yet. Um, see, this is the thing. I can launch the silo at your bike, and then it will take longer to capture. I could drop it to one yeah, HP if I wanted to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm imagining like this map is about using the silos correctly. Yeah, but I just don't really... I don't really see how this is supposed to be, like, fun. No. <laughs> you don't have any... You don't have any bases. No. <laughs> this is my and turn. you moved the bike as far as possible, right? It took you, like, three turns yeah, 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 to yeah. get to the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So yeah. what I can do is I can just take this and be all, like, uh... Oh. 
You like not being able to capture? Here you go. Oh, good. Oh, Jesus. Can you? Oh, no, you can reach the second one, too? Yeah, I can reach the second one faster than you can. Oh, okay. Well, that's Th going to take me forever to capture. <laughs> yeah, you see why this is terrible now? <laughs> All right. You won't even no, have a base no. before the... <laughs> Oops. What did you do? <laughs> what a bit of friendly fire. Oh my god, you got another one? Yeah, I got three at the <laughs> This is so stupid. That's gonna take. Okay, I'll be able to capture this property on day 17, I think. So <laughs> oh my god. Now uh, don't. <laughs> don't hit I'm gonna try not to hit myself. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Stop hitting yourself. There's no mid. This is so stupid. What? I guess I'll just... I don't get it either. Okay, but who will win then if it's gonna be... Yeah, so it will take me 15 days to cap the city, which means I'm gonna get it on day 21. Which is six uh -oh. days after the time limit, so I guess there's no point. Like, if they if they still determine the winner based on how many properties you got, then I don't even know what would happen. I, I guess think it, it would be a draw. It would be a draw, I think. So, but, oh, oh, okay. Well, I hope I have more missiles left, because... Uh... There's, like, one more. Oh, oh, you're gonna And get I don't it. think you're gonna get to it before I get to over here. Oh, no, my HQ. <laughs> well, that's bad. All right, okay. Abort, abort. <laughs> abort mission. This was a bad idea. Oh, crap, you're... I'm gonna run away now. Okay. <laughs> this is the most engaging match of Advanced Force I've ever played. Yeah, it certainly is. Oh crap! I think you might. Okay. Well, I I'm, I can I can load my CO unit in. Um, wait. Uh, you can load your. Can't you load your CO on the HQ? Yeah, you can. But I don't know if I want to spend a turn doing that. Okay. Are we getting income at all? I think we're getting a thousand income. Yeah, we are. You're getting one thousand off the HQ. Yes. Yeah. So you can, in fact, load your CO onto the infantry at least i can yeah i might be able to get no wait will i be able to get to the co no i will not actually i will not be able to get to the hq before you get there no wait i can Never now mind. you can yeah. actually you can actually move on top of and it then and load. then load yeah yeah, yeah. And then, I, there. then i might be fine i think i might be fine oh no wait you have a bike coming oh that's not good because i can still attack too oh no no wait if I, you had not i cannot load if my... you had not hit yourself i think you'd have been okay Aha. Okay. Aha. That's cool too. Aha. Aha. I'm almost out of fuel. You're, you're gonna run out of fuel on your bike. Wait, how much fuel do bikes have? Let's see, they start with uh, 70. Oh, wow. Wow, you really moved it that much? Okay. Uh, I was moving all over the no map. No shit, it, I it misclicked moved. again. I was gonna. Oh my. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, I was so stupid. I was gonna load uh. my CO in. But wait, are you probably, okay. you're probably gonna run out of fuel before you reach? Nah, you're probably not. Oh no, you're just gonna win. Oh no. Yes. I don't know if this is enough to like win the thing outright. Let's well, see. Well, you're routing my units, so I think so. Okay, Give now. Give me one sec. I I gotta get some. All right, no problem. All right, what what do you get? What do you get, Ephraim? What do you get? Do you like Mr. Bear? Because <laughs> he loves yeah, you. Sure. Actually, I'm a bear. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Uh, okay. I think <laughs> she lived. How nice. Oh my God. Mr. Bear loves you, <laughs> and now he's going to blow up your last unit. <laughs> this is the stupidest match I've ever played in my life. All right, you won. Congratulations. I would you have won if I had successfully loaded in my CO unit? I actually don't know. I have I have no idea. Daddy will be happy, I'm sure he will, Bunny. I'm sure he will. That's awful. <laughs> that is the worst map I've ever seen. Ever. Oh my I'm god. I'm just gonna keep Mr. Bear here. Yeah, of course, <laughs> he can keep watching. Alright, let's do uh, let's do one more shitty map, shall we? Let's do um Wait. Mm. Is this... No, this is a handicap map, I think. No, you know what? I want to do this one. 
I want to do cross paths, the pre-deployed one. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna. Wait, will we even get to load? No, our, you don't. Will we ever get to load in our CO unit in this map? I don't know if we will. I got no idea. Uh, I'll if play, there's um, no HQ, we can't do it. If there's no money, we can't do it. I'll play Gage. He has a cool theme. You pick one. Uh, <laughs> I guess I stick with my best friend here. The oh, you're button? gonna you're gonna keep playing, Mr. Bear? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's do. Uh, he can watch from the sidelines. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's just go with it, I guess. So here we go. Uh, now I'm playing as. You have to get to your HQ. That's the thing. Ah, right. So I'm playing as handsome grit. Um. He's grit, basically. He, bu he buffs indirect, but he also buffs naval units, which is interesting. So his battleships are also really cool, too. Um, and his uh, his superpower is basically, or his, his CO power is basically, like, snipe attack. Um, he gets extra They rush. don't pay you to think. They don't. They don't pay you to think. That's very true. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I guess it's a, it's a rush to the HQ, I guess. But doesn't that just mean player one wins? Uh, not necessarily, because you, you, we are going to get forced into the into that choke point. Right. Okay. Well, this is an in, this is an interesting little. I don't know if sending my artillery in first was the smartest thing to do. Uh, I can't get to it. Doesn't bother me. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what happens. I guess. Mr. Bear says we're gonna win. <laughs> I hope not. Maybe I won't shoot myself with a missile this time around. Yeah, there are none. Okay, I. Still... This is the trouble because you moved up first, which means I have to dance around your attack range. I think player one has a significant advantage on this map, considering it's a race. So mm -hmm. I, it would. I think it would have been fair to make player one start with maybe one less infantry or something. I don't know, but then maybe it would have been impossible to do it. I don't... Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try a gambit here. It's probably not gonna work. Wait, the ruins gives. One defense, so does the plane. So I guess if I just do this, and then I'm just gonna rush your HQ. I mean... Oh uh, boy. I don't know, like... Seems logical to me. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Well, you've given me the opportunity to attack, so... I call it the roadblock blo maneuver, you know? like The roadblock maneuver. Is that, that's not how I sound. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, that was oh, probably not good. No, I, I think... Ah, oh, I, th I don't think that was smart at all. Well, what was a 4 HP infantry gonna do? I don't know. Kill my... or damage my infantry? Alright, I'm just rush for your HQ. I don't I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, if I damage it, like so, and then maybe... I wonder if it's not smart for me to try and just slow you down as much as possible. So maybe I should... Um, hmm. Well, you just need the one infantry at the HQ. I think it's yeah, fine trying, if you want to. I'm trying to just re realize whether or not I should like attack you, or if I should. I should probably not attack you because then I'll lose my infantry. So I think it's probably better if I just keep this guy in the woods. I just want to slow you down. I want to slow your tank down so your tank doesn't catch up to me. Oh wow, that was a lot. Yeah, artillery. I, I heard they buffed artillery in Days of Ruin. They do more damage. Wow, they've buffed okay. a lot of units. Like missile missiles have one extra range, so they they've done a lot. And cruisers are a lot. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, uh, finished off the artillery or damaged the infantry. I don't think that artillery is doing a whole lot. You're right. Good advice. I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Can the oh god, that tank is fine. No wait, it's there's woods here. Thank goodness. Am I the only one who struggles a little bit seeing the terrain in Days of Ruin? Yeah, it kind of blends in a little bit, it's and the not, roads especially. It's not very. Uh, it's not weird. very apparent. I think. Like like in Advanced Wars Two, I have no problems like separating a forest from planes. But here, I feel like the, the terrain kind of just like blends into each other and it's just very hard to see what is what, in my opinion. It could potentially depend on the tile set. There's a couple different ones. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, I know one of the tile sets is actually really awful in that regard. Oh, I think so. it's the, I think it's the wasteland tile set. It's horrible. I don't. Yeah. I, there's one either the wasteland or the snow one. I I don't quite know. Oh yeah, I don't think they're and the infantry is not catching up. So get out of there. Okay, I I think I might be able to get this. I'm not entirely sure. I think I might, have to I drop think, you below three. I think you've got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Maybe you get a, like a luck. No, I got it. Yeah, gonna, you got it. Just gonna move the last unit just for good measure. Look at Mr. Bear. He's upset now. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I win. <laughs> a good soldier follows orders, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Words to live by. <laughs> All right, uh, we've done three matches. Uh, that, was, that was very fun. Uh, we should get together and do this again, I think. We should uh, play some... On better maps, on I be think. On better yeah. maps. So, yeah, guys, if you want to uh, if you want to see me and Ephraim duke it out, let me know in the comment section. Maybe we'll make this a series. Like, Manx and Ephraim <laughs> plays horrible Days of Ruin maps together. I had a lot of fun. This we was, have to uh, play all of the awful ones. Yeah. Can we, like... <laughs> Anyway, guys, check out Ephraim's channel. Uh, he does a let's play of this game, actually, and some other good, informative, advanced wars content. And yeah, it was mm -hmm. fun. It was fun having you on, uh, Ephraim. We'll see. You. Thank you. We'll see you again. It's soon. Fun to be here too. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do a regular advanced wars end screen. There we go.